Hi, I'm Susan Ray. I'm a smooth muscle physiologist and I'm editor-in-chief of Physiological Reports. I'm Tom Clayman and I am a physiologist who studies epithelial transport and I'm the deputy editor of Physiological Reports. So for those of you who don't know, Physiological Reports has been going now for a year. We've had a really successful first year. We have had over 400 submissions and we have published approximately 280 of your papers. So Physiological Reports was set up by both APS and TPS as a vehicle for papers that perhaps hadn't made the grade uh, for another journal of our sister societies, but was still good science. And it's a wonderful vehicle for getting more physiology published. We all know we have good work and it's really frustrating if that good work can't find a home. So this is another vehicle. It has physiology in the title, so you can already let people know this is physiology you're doing. It has peer review. It has the standards of both our sister societies. So it's a really excellent initiative. And um, my colleague, Tom, is going to say a little bit more about the kinds of publications that we're interested in. We, we accept uh, papers that are focused on areas that are relevant to physiology. Um, but in particular, we will consider manuscripts that perhaps are not as complete as a, as a story that, that one might submit to one of our sister journals that are published by the APS or TPS. We also encourage authors to submit manuscripts that are primarily present negative data or primarily present data that are confirmatory in nature. I think we believe and, and the societies believe that, there's an that it's important to have this work be in the literature and and uh, physiological reports will provide an opportunity for authors to publish this type of work. And when you look at the way that manuscripts uh, will be submitted to the journal, uh, you can submit de novo work uh, to the journal uh, through, through our website uh, by a, a standard uh, approach that we use for, you would use for other journals. But in addition, uh, manuscripts that don't quite make the grade uh, is with regard to acceptance at uh, journals that are published by our sister societies, the APS and the TPS, uh, may uh, be recommended to be transferred to physiologic reports. And at that time, the authors would need to decide whether they agreed to have the manuscript transferred to physiological reports. And if the manuscript is transferred, not only is the manuscript transferred, but the reviewers' comments are transferred as well. And so our, our goal is to take those manuscripts with the reviewers', cons, uh, with the reviewers comments and to make an editorial dis decision quite rapidly. And so you'll be pleased to hear that already we are in PubMed. We are hoping that by July we'll also be on Medline, followed by ISI and Scopus. So we're making great progress in establishing ourselves now. As I say, we've had the the one year. And the, it's worth knowing that uh, the profits from this journal will be ploughed back into the two sister societies. So that's another reason when you're thinking of where to submit and the bigger picture of physiology and funding for meetings such as we're here at EB, for example, more money going back into the societies by people submitting their papers to physiological reports. So there's another good reason to send us your papers. Um, as I hope we've persuaded you, Tom and I are very friendly, so that if you actually have any queries, do email us about it. But I hope you'll find our website really rather informative as well. So we're on Highwire and we're on Wiley Online. So have a look, send us your papers. Thank you. Thank you.